In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Let events E, F and G be pairwise independent with probability of G greater than 0 and probability of E intersection F intersection G is equal to 0. Let X, C denote the complement of event X. Then we have to find the probability of E complement intersection F complement given that the event G has already happened. So we are given that E, F and G are pairwise independent. So first of all, let's understand the meaning of pairwise independent. Pairwise independent means that probability of E intersection F is equal to probability of E multiplied by probability of F and probability of F intersection G is equal to probability of F multiplied by probability of G and probability of E intersection G is equal to probability of E multiplied by probability of G. So this is what we mean by pairwise independent. So if these three hold, then we say that E, F and G are pairwise independent. Note that there is a difference between pairwise independent and independent. Pairwise independent means that these three conditions hold and independent means that these three conditions and this condition also holds. So this is the fourth condition that we have. So probability of E intersection F intersection G should be equal to probability of E multiplied by probability of F multiplied by probability of G. If these four conditions hold, then we say that E, F and G are independent or you can call them mutually independent as well. And if the fourth condition does not hold and only the first three conditions hold, then you say that they are pairwise independent. So in this case, we are given that E, F and G are pairwise independent. So we'll be working with these three conditions. Okay, and we are also given that probability of E intersection F intersection G is equal to zero. Now we have to find the probability of E complement intersection F complement given G. Well, we can write that this is equal to probability of E complement intersection F complement intersection G divided by probability of G and here I have used the formula that probability of A given B is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. Now to solve this first of all let's see that what is this numerator. So let's find the probability of E complement intersection F complement intersection G and to find this probability let's find the event E complement intersection F complement intersection G. To find the probability of E complement intersection F complement intersection G, have a look at this Venn diagram. So let us first find the event E complement intersection F complement intersection G. Now notice the way I have drawn this diagram. So there is intersection between E and F, there is intersection between E and G and there is intersection between F and G but there is no intersection between E, F and G and this is because we are given in the question that probability of E intersection F intersection G is equal to zero. Now let's find E complement intersection F complement intersection G. Well using De Morgan's law of union we know that A complement intersection B complement is equal to A union B complement. So we can write that E complement intersection F complement is E union F complement. Now let's shade the area that corresponds to E union F complement. So E union F complement is this entire area. So this shaded area is E union F complement. And now we have to find its intersection with G. So now we have to find E union F complement intersection G. Well, this is equal to this area. I mean this entire portion that you have here. 
So this green and yellow shaded area is E complement intersection F complement intersection G. So we can write that the probability of E complement intersection F complement intersection G is equal to probability of G. So from the G we have to subtract the intersection of E and G and the intersection of F and G. So this is equal to probability of G minus probability of E intersection G minus probability of F intersection G. So that means from the entire G I am subtracting this area and this area. Now this is the numerator of our expression. So let me write down the expression once again. So we are finding the probability of E complement intersection F complement given G and we wrote that this is equal to probability of E complement intersection F complement intersection G divided by probability of G. And now we know that probability of E complement intersection F complement intersection G is equal to probability of G minus probability of E intersection G minus probability of F intersection G. And we have to divide this by probability of G. Well, we are given in the question that E, F and G are pairwise independent. So we can write that this is equal to probability of G minus probability of E multiplied by probability of G minus probability of F multiplied by probability of G and we have to divide this by probability of G. This is F. And now we, from the numerator we can take probability of G common. So this is equal to probability of G and here we have 1 minus probability of E minus probability of F and this is divided by probability of G. We can cancel this. So this and this. Well, we know that 1 minus probability of E is equal to probability of E complement. So we can write that this is equal to probability of E complement minus probability of F. And this is our answer. So that means the right answer is part C. Well, I've done a mistake here. Uh, in the part C, we don't have complement here. So this C should not be here. Okay, so this is the C option. And in this case, the answer is part C. So this is the answer.